My name is Jan Benham, founder and CEO of the Institute of Aromatherapy and Aroma Shop. Today I'm going to talk about emulsifiers in the making of creams and lotions, specifically stearic acid and ceter of 20. So in order to make a cream or a lotion, you're putting together oil and water. And of course oil and water do not mix, so you need an emulsifier in order to bring them together. Now at the Aroma Shop we do have various emulsifiers that are already prepared with various natural chemicals from the plant world that help to bring everything so that all in one, which means you just use one product, mix it in with the oil and you heat it up, melt it down and you heat up the water and then you bring them together and hence you have a oil as so you have a cream or a lotion. So I'm going to demonstrate that in the next video. Today that we're working with individual chemicals. So stearic acid is a natural acid from, usually from soap making produces it. It's from, uh, produced from coconut oil, this particular stearic acid. It comes from fatty acids, so it can be produced also from animal fat as well. We only carry the plant-derived stearic acid at the aroma shop. So what does stearic acid do? It's an emollient, so it's really good on the skin. It's a surfactant and of course it's an emulsifier. But by itself it doesn't work, it does need other products with it like ceteryl alcohol or ceteryl 20. So the main benefits of stearic acid is, as well as being an emulsifier on the skin, it softens and smooths the skin surface while also helping to maintain the skin barrier. And it also is used to thicken products and improve the texture. So where we uh, use that a lot is in, as well as in creams and lotion, we also use it in making our uh, cosmetic pencils. So at the beginning when I first started making cosmetic pencils, I would use uh, canalba wax or candelilla wax, which are both natural plant waxes, uh, mixed with oil, like jojoba oil and shea butter. And then I would add the pigment and would make the pencils. The biggest problem that we had with the pencils was as soon as you needed to sharpen them, they broke very easily. They were very brittle. And I found that once we added a little bit of stearic acid to the formula, it made it a lot easier. The pencil is a lot more pliable and less likely to break. And the same with lipsticks. So we use this in our lipstick, a steric acid in our lipstick as well. It makes the whole, um, it makes the, oops, there we go. So this is a nude lipstick and it's mainly uh, castor oil, shea butter, candelilla wax, which is the natural plant wax. There's beeswax in this one. And there's also Nature Derm IL, which is kind of like a fractionated coconut oil, which also adds a nice emollient and property to the lipstick. Of course you've got the pigments in there and then we also have some stearic acid which again helps with the um, uh, pliability of the lipstick as well and also adds the properties of being moisturizing on the skin. So um, that is basically stearic acid and we do, when we order stearic acid or set of 20 we do give a recipe card on how to make a lotion. Now this lotion is a very liquid lotion, so if you want to make it more of a cream, you just leave out some of the water. So for example, in this uh, recipe, we have 50 gram of distilled water, and yes, we do weigh it. And I would suggest you go down to about 40 gram in order to make it a little bit more creamy. So this is a recipe card that you get for free whenever you order steric acid or set of 20. So, with Setter of 20, um, what Setter of 20 does, as well as being an emulsifier, it, um, it makes this emulsifier more stable. So, it has to be used with another, obviously, another emulsifier, such as glycerol stearate. 
And also, but what it also does, it also helps with penetration of the skin, um, the product. So if you have set of 20 in your moisturizer, it will help if you add, for example, herbal extracts or essential oils, or other goodies that are good for your skin. If you add, um, if, you, if you've got a set of 20 in there, it will help with the absorption of those products into your skin in order to be able to help conditions such as eczema, psoriasis, and acne even. So that is just a little bit about the different emulsifiers. If you wish to know more, um, of course, these don't go into stearic acid. I have two books that I bought out uh, specifically for cosmetic making. The original book, this is the original book of the Creamy Craft of Cosmetic Making. It's now in a different format and it also has uh, updated information. But this, also, this goes more into using the Lynette wax, making creams and lotions and a skincare line. And then we have the Baby Boomers Beauty Bible, um, which goes into a little bit more detail and a few more recipes and going into hair care as well. So those are another couple of books for your, if you're interested and you can get them on Amazon or through Kindle and sometimes we do special offers where they're free on Kindle. Anyway, and next I'm going to be making a uh, lotion with these two emulsifiers. So if you have any questions, please get back to me and have a nice day wherever you may be. Bye for now.